hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so today in this video i'm going to talk about kobo toolbox okay so kobo toolbox you know uh, is a platform for developing and deploying mobile data collections so today in this vi uh, video or in this tutorial um, we'll be learning about how to get started with uh, kobo toolbox okay uh, to develop data collection forms that includes you know uh, data repeated groups uh, data validations and skip logics okay so first of all let's talk about how to get a uh, cobo toolbox okay so for that go to any of your browser okay so let me just go to opera uh, okay so then after that just type there cobo toolbox okay cobo toolbox dot org and hit enter and after that wait for a while okay so you will see the interface like this okay so first of all uh, to get Kobo toolbox you must sign up for uh, this application to use okay so you can simply see here simply robust and powerful uh, tools for data collections okay build collect analyze online or offline so this is really one of the great advantages for us all okay so you can see some of the features of Kobo Toolbox. Okay, so first of all, you can just see here from Builder. Okay, uh, you can just see here you can do designs forms quickly and easily. Right, then reuse existing questions and blocks of questions. So similarly, you can also build complex forms and with sorry with skip logic and validation and import from export XLS forms okay so the second most important thing is that uh, you can collect data offline or online on phones tablets you know or using end browser okay so third one is analyze and manage data okay so for that to get a uh, Kobo toolbox just click on the sign up button here okay you can just see here click on that okay then uh, you can just here get started get started with Kobo toolbox now it's free right okay so if you are okay so uh, if you are using for any humanitarian organizations okay uh, you can just click on here create organize uh, sorry create an account so if you are individual or uh, researchers aid workers okay so you can just click on this one okay researchers aid workers and everyone else okay click on create account first okay then after that you can see uh, the page opens like this okay so first of all to create account you must give some of the uh, informations okay so create an account you can give your name uh, anything okay so for now let me just type uh, my own channel name learning tech sorry tech okay uh, then organizations you can just give uh, anything okay let me just skip uh, same as this learning tech okay so username you can give anything okay uh, let me just skip same okay learning tech so you can just uh, check after a while whether this username is available or not okay so you can just skip okay then you can just enter your email address here okay then you can just choose sector um, anything from here as you need so for now let me just uh, click on health service or public health okay so you can just select the country here okay the country you belongs to then just select your gender okay then just create a password okay then just type the same password here okay for password confirmation then just create account okay so I'm not clicking on this because I already have created my account so after creating an account uh, an email will be sent to your email address that you just provided here for the confirmation okay then uh, after signing up you will be just getting the email address uh, for the confirmation okay so I already have confirmed my uh, Kobo toolbox account okay uh, you can just here activate your Kobo toolbox account okay so just want to click on that then you can just click on the link that is given uh, below okay you can just click on this and it will be activated itself okay okay so 
Okay, then after that, okay, then just log in uh, to your Kobo Toolbox account. Okay, so after creating, just click on login. Okay, so you just type your username and password here. Okay, so let me just click my username. Okay, so after entering your username and password, just click on login. Okay, so this is the outlook at the first time uh, when you just open your toolbox. Okay, so in this video, I'll be talk about I'll be talking about uh, different things uh, like creating a project, uh, you know, and adding questions to it, and just implementing skip checks and implementing uh, validation logic. Okay then deploying the form and collecting data on how can we just deploy uh, the Copal toolbox li and link it with the and mobile for data collection okay so and many more like this okay so let me just create a new project for now okay you can just here it's the first uh, so whenever you are using uh, Copal toolbox for the first time uh, everything will be empty you just need to create a new project you can just here create a new deploy draft archived archived everything is null here okay so let me just create a new project now and just let me click on new okay so from this to create a project okay uh, we must choose the source so you can choose the source any of the options given below okay so you can just uh, read the option here choose one of the options below to continue you will be promoted to enter name and other details in further steps okay so build from scratch okay you can just build any uh, you can just create a project by building from any scratches uh, you can just simply use a template okay so whether uh, you can just edit the template or you can just start using by using a template okay or simply you can just upload an xls form uh, okay so import an xls form via url okay okay so for now let me just uh, build from scratch okay so in this I'll be showing from starting okay then you just need to enter the project details here so project name you can just type anything you want project name okay so let me just type now tutorial sorry tutorial okay then you can just keep a short uh, description here about the project here okay so I'm just uh, let me just give description as mm, tutorial video robot to box okay robot to box okay so you can just select the sector uh, on which the project is related let me just keep as it is uh, health service and public health you can just select your country here okay then just tick on this box then you can just create a new project okay 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 this is the interface you will be seeing at first okay so to enter the questionnaires or uh, creating a project let's talk about now adding the questions okay so I've just collected a few questions that is uh, related and that I've just prepared uh, for this tutorial video okay, so to start just click on the button here plus okay so then after that just click on just click uh, type the questions as you want okay so let me just start with uh, the form number okay so that is that is just the serial number okay form number sorry okay form number okay so let me just click and add questions here okay so after that you will be getting a lot of options here okay so no form number it's simply in the number okay so it's not text okay it's not a number with decimals it's not date it's not time okay so you can choose a various options here okay according to your question so if the question says uh, to just the type the date then you can just click on this okay so you can just include the time also okay uh, and both as well okay date and time and the point okay you can just see here point 
so this is uh, very much useful in collecting the data you know and just pin the location okay so we can just click the photo okay and just save as photo here you can just you can also add audio video okay line a note barcode acknowledge area rating question matrix ranking calculate okay uh, many more okay so for now it's uh, in the num form of number so you can just click on number okay so you can also add your question in okay so for this question it's not necessary okay so let me just add another question okay um, the question as respondents name okay respondents name and click on add question okay so respondents name it will be in the string okay so it's text okay let me just click on text okay so it's also done then let me just uh, add another question here okay regarding uh, the gender sorry okay gender then just click and add question so gender uh, usually you will get the answer as male or female okay so you have will you need to select uh, any one out of these two options okay so you can just click and select one in which you can just keep the various options here okay so option one and option two so in option one let me just uh, type here male and in option two uh, enter female okay so whenever the question arises in gender um, the question will automatically shows these two options and you can just select any one of them okay so it's that much okay okay and if you want to add another response then you can just click here okay uh, you can just type here others or you can just leave as it is or simply you can just delete this options okay so after that uh, you can just uh, close these options or collapse these options by clicking on this button okay okay so you can just see your question end so this question end uh, usually means to add some of the hints to the questions while collecting data or adding more information to the questions okay okay then after that uh, let me just give another uh, question okay gender uh, okay let me just type here age okay age and just click on add question so age usually it's a number okay so just click a number okay you are done in this similarly uh, let me just give another question okay so in age uh, many people may respond I am uh, 29 years and this must months or right so in this uh, you can just give the hints uh, in years okay in years so while collecting data you can just enter the uh, is in years sorry in yeah, in years in years and you can just click anywhere okay so this is the end so age must be in the years okay okay so let me add another questions okay uh, marital status okay marital status so the question simply means whether you are the respondents are married or not okay so in this uh, you can just add the question as select one okay or select many so select many it won't be in this question because uh, any respondent may be married or unmarried or divorced right or separated okay so let me just click on select one okay so option one let me just give as married married okay so the respondent is married and in option two uh, let me just type here single single okay so let me just click on another options here uh, the respondent might also be divorced right 
okay so if you want to add other options or another response then just click to add another response here and you can just simply uh, add as much options as you want okay okay so for now let me just uh, add this much okay and then just click on this Um, okay, so after that, uh, adding these questions. Um, for suppose, let's say I want to create a group of these questions. Okay, so this is one category or one section, in which uh, the details of the respondents will be collected. Okay, so for that, okay, uh, let me just create a group. Okay, so for that, just click on control button, then you can just click control button and then click all the questions okay then after that you can just see uh, the questions are being selected and you can see the blue border in each of the questions then after that I just go on the toolbar here okay you can just here create group with selected questions just click on that okay so the group will be created here and you can just give the name as you want okay so let me just uh, type here details of the respondents okay details of the respondents okay uh, similarly let me just add some other more questions okay so for that let me just click on plus sign here okay so just keep on adding the questions okay so let me just add the questions regarding the education level of the respondent okay education education status of the respondent okay respondent then just click and add question so um, the respondent might be literate or illiterate or may have done the higher uh, primary level education or oh, sorry or uh, may have completed the primary level education or secondary level education or more than that okay so there will be many options okay so let me just click on this select one okay so option last option let me just uh, give as uneducated uneducated so the respondent have doesn't know how to read or write okay so let me give the second options or another response as primary primary level education similarly let me just add another response as secondary level mm, education okay uh, similarly let me just give uh, another option as higher level or high school higher than uh, secondary level okay just uh, let me give this much response okay so the question is done here okay so similarly let me add another question here okay so the question um, regarding the occupation of the respondent okay occupation of the respondent so let me just select this select one okay let me just give a first option as farming sorry okay, farming let me give second option as uh, business uh, let me just give third option as government jobs government job okay so if uh, the respondents response other than this and then let me just uh, give the option as others okay okay so this is the occupation and education status of the respondent okay so let me add another questions here so the family members um, in the any of the family one of the family members might 
have gone to abroad okay uh, might be or may not be too but let me add the questions just for an example here okay so for that mm, anyone sorry anyone uh, working working in abroad from from this family okay so anyone working in the abroad from this family obviously the question will be yes or no okay so let me just click on select one okay yes and let me give the second option as no okay so it's done here okay so let me give another questions the question might also be yes uh, some of the family members might have gone to abroad for working okay so let me add next question as if yes then which country then which country let me add this question okay so it might be impossible to type all the country's name okay so in this so it's better uh, you just type the answer right so in the text form okay so text in which country uh, might be Australia might be America might be Qatar might be any other countries okay okay so question in you can just hear it's in the form of text okay then um, okay let me just give another question as from when okay from when means uh, since uh, how many years have the uh, respondents family members have been working in the abroad okay so add question let me just give this as a number uh, since two years since three years four five six ten years fifteen years okay uh, let me just give as it is a number okay so let me just type here hints as in years okay so the answers might be uh, uh, since one years two years three years or uh, any other okay okay then after that okay uh, okay so then after that uh, here I already have uh, added questions uh, five questions regarding uh, you know the details of the respondents household okay so let me just keep this as in a group so for that just click on any one of the question then just click control then just click all the questions as you want to group okay so all the questions are selected here okay which will be identified by the blue border here then just click on the toolbar and just click on create group with selected questions click on that then you can just give the name uh, as you want okay so let me just give as details of the respondents household okay similarly just let me continue okay after uh, completing this much uh, let me just preview the form or the questions that I created so for that just click on the preview form here okay so here it is so the topic was tutorial right then the details of the respondent uh, the form number one two three okay respondents name here and gender male or female to select age in years okay so marital status married single or divorced then second section comes here the details of the respondents how do households okay uh, well the, the questions uh, just mismatched here um, okay uh, hope you'll understand this all the questions are just for the examples here so education status of the respondent okay occupation of the respondent and anyone working in abroad from this family yes or no if yes which country then from where in years okay so this is the preview okay so let me just show the next thing here okay uh, so whenever the data collector or the enumerators will be collecting the data uh, they also can record 
the GPS or the area or the point okay so GPS of the location okay in short I mean uh, just they also can record the GPS location of the place that they are collecting the data okay so for that uh, let me just add another question here for the location okay let me just type in GPS here okay then add question okay, so GPS you can just create a point liner area okay so for it let me just uh, click on point okay and let me just click on save okay so all the data or the questions that we just recorded here has been saved okay you can just uh, save all the questions time to time okay let me just click on preview for GPS question okay uh, you can just here okay so you can just choose the location here okay so from where you are collecting your data Or simply you can just search for the place or the address here okay well everything looks uh, fine okay, let's click me click and save okay okay so okay so after this let me talk about uh, you know how to use or how to implement skip checks okay so skip checks okay uh, so there might be some of the questions that uh, whenever the respondent answers the question then some of the questions uh, that may be useless okay so for example just me give an example okay so in this example anyone working in the abroad for uh, from this family if the question is yes then only these two questions will be valid right so if the answer is uh, if uh, anyone working in this uh, anyone working in the abroad from this family then if the answer comes no then there's no use of this two questions right if yes then we're going to from when okay so how to use or implement uh, skip checks okay let me show you that for that just uh, go to the question that you want to implement this skip checks okay so just go to setting here then after that you can just see a skip logic right okay question options skip logic and validation criteria so validation criteria we'll be talking few moments back okay so just keep on just uh, sorry click on skip logic okay so here just read the question carefully here okay this question will be valid oh, sorry this question will only be displayed if the following conditions apply okay so what's the question here so what's the condition if anyone working in abroad from this family if the answer is yes right if the answer is yes then this question will be displayed okay so if you just click here no then this question will not be displayed here okay so this is the question so this is our condition okay okay so after that just you can just click on save and uh, then after that uh, let me just click on preview and let me check okay so okay so this is the question uh, anyone working in the abroad from this family let me just click here no see here uh, nothing is shown here right okay so let me just click on yes then this question these two questions will be valid here okay so this is the way to implement skip checks okay so after this okay after this uh, let me just talk about implementing validation logic okay so this might be important whenever you just collect the data right so whenever you are in hurry <coughs> or sometimes you may not know while collecting the data right uh, so let me just click on the details of the respondent here and okay let me just show you the example of age okay so sometimes what happens is that if the someone responds the age is uh, 30 or 35 right okay so and whenever you just collect through the mobile or tablet right then uh, unfortunately sometimes uh, we may type the wrong answer right suppose for example for uh, 30 we may type 300 right okay so how to uh, just remove 
or get rid of such errors okay for that let me just click on settings as before then you will just get the options here click on validation criteria I am right click on this okay in this question to just uh, read the conditions carefully this question will be valid only if the following conditions apply okay so what's the condition okay the questions this question response has to be more than or less than okay change from here okay for now just let me choose here uh, less than okay you can choose many of the options here okay for now let me just less than uh, let me just put 100 okay this is for an example 100 then just let me type the error message here, okay error <coughs> okay uh, you can type anything here it must be less than 100 okay let me just type this much and let me just click on save here okay uh, let me just click on preview to check whether the validation logic is being implemented or not yes okay so in years whenever type here uh, let me just type 30 okay it's approved right but here 300 okay so then the error message or else like this okay error the age must be less than 100 right okay so whenever we call it sometimes we just mistakenly type uh, the wrong number or enter the wrong number then this uh, implementing validation logic will help us to get this type or uh, you know just to get rid of this type of errors okay everything is okay let me just click and save here after adding all the questions okay uh, just don't forget to save here click and save then the further step is to deploy the form and start collecting the data okay so we'll be doing that now okay so for that uh, just click on the close button here so as mentioned earlier just don't forget to save this okay then just click on close okay so now okay you can just see here the option deploy here okay so this is the questions that we just created a few moments ago okay there are 13 questions here okay so just click on deploy then you can just see the message here deploying okay and the form is already deployed here okay so now our main work starts here is to collect the data okay so how can we collect the data by using the questionnaires that we just created through Kobo toolbox okay you can just see here options collect data online offline multiple submissions okay you can just click here and get further more options here okay so offline online multiple submissions okay this is useful when you are just working in the field and this allows online and offline submissions and which is really best options for collecting data in the field okay and second options online only multiple submissions okay so this is the best option when entering many records at once on computer for example transcribing paper records okay and next one is online only okay so single submission which allows a single submission only and can be paired with the written URL parameters to redirect the uh, user to URL okay and next one is online only once per respondent and next one you can also just here embeddable with uh, form code next one is view only and the next one of the most important thing is Android application okay so use this option to collect the data in the field with their Android devices or any other Android mobiles tablets okay okay so before uh, just going through Android application let me just show you um, the online offline collections okay just click on that then just click on open okay so the questions will be open in new tab just like this okay so this is the form okay uh, let me just <coughs> start from number one okay name of the respondent uh, let me just type anything here okay, this let me give 
as it is a learning tag uh, let me just type mail okay uh, as let me just keep anything here okay so single let me just give you an example so detail of the respondent household okay let me just keep a uh, higher occupation let me just say government job okay so anyone working in this app from the same let me just click yes okay in which country uh, let me just keep an example Canada okay from when since okay four years okay so next uh, GPS okay so you can just uh, mark the point from the place where you are collecting the data okay so for that you can just simply select streets and select uh, satellite or remote network okay, let me just click here streets and just choose your location okay whenever or so wherever you are just standing and collecting your data just mark there okay okay let's just click here okay so latitude and longitude will be automatically will be detected okay okay then after that you can just click save as draft or submit okay okay let, let me just click on submit here okay so after that you can just see here uh, record queued for submission queued records expect accept those marks as dropped are uploaded automatically in the background every five minutes when the okay so after that okay you can just see here one was successfully submitted tutorial one okay you can just see here this is the form number one and let me just go back to Kobo form and just let me refresh the page for now you can just see here zero submission right now there was right okay so one form was recently just submitted from here okay then after that you can just see here one submission here okay so you can just extract that data just by clicking on the data tab here okay okay so you can just see here this was collected on July 27, 2022, right? And form number one, name was learning tick, right? Details of respondent. Okay, you can just also see here. You can just manage all everything here. Okay, mail, age, right? Marital status, education level, occupation, right? Okay, so after this, let me just uh, show you how can we collect uh, from mobile phone okay so for that just go to collect data and just click on Android application okay after that you can just see here you just need to install Kobo collect on your Android device okay and just click on the three button here to open setting and just enter the software URL as given here okay. and your username and password okay then open the get blank form and select this project open enter data okay so let me just so you from the mobile phone now okay so now let me just show you on how can we download and install Kobo collect and collect the data okay so for that uh, just go to any of your Android device okay go to Play Store okay there you can just uh, type Kobo collect okay okay then just click on install Just open the application. Okay, so uh, in this case, you can just configure with QR code or manually enter project details. Okay. Okay, so let me just show you by entering manually. Okay, manually enter project details okay so here you just type the URL as this given in the picture there okay
okay that was just sent to uh, your email address okay let me just type mine okay and just click on add okay so after that okay just follow the instruction get the just click on get the blank forms okay then it will come okay so from this downloaded fill collect can't reach the server address okay so the spelling was mistaken okay so let me just correct that okay so for that uh, just back and click on this then just go to settings okay then after that just click on, click on server okay just correct the spelling here okay t o o l okay l was missing here toolbox dot o r g okay let me just click on okay everything is done then just click on get blank forms okay so this will connect to the server okay so tutorial okay so this was the questions that we just created okay it's just already ticked here just click on this project right okay just click and click click and just click get selected okay all downloads succeeded okay then you can just click on the fill the blank form okay the first one click okay you can just click on the questionnaires here okay and you'll just get the question okay so from starting from number okay just let me type here two okay two next uh, respondents name let me just type anything here okay learning click on next gender male next is 46 next married next okay higher next education level okay and respondents of uh, sorry occupation of the respondents mm, business next okay anyone working in this abroad okay just let me click on note this time okay next see the two question was already skipped there right okay so for gps start geo point let's click on it click on allow okay then you can just click on save after everything is done here okay let me just click and save here okay so this is my location okay so this is the location and just click on next okay so in this you can just click on save form and exit okay mark the form as final everything is done nothing need to be done here okay one form was saved okay you can just here now the number one was already here if you want to edit something you can just go to edit set forms and you can just edit here let me just uh, so another example okay click on for new form just click on fill blank form click on the tutorial okay form number three next respond in their name so okay, let me just type take okay next then female okay for example age in years 25 okay single primary level okay others just click on next and we work in this okay so whenever i click on yes and click on next okay so the question was sooner right okay so this is the step why we just used uh skip checks okay yes okay so we scan the uh let's type america here click on next from when okay since two years next okay then just start zero point okay you can just trying to get location okay just let me click and save here click on next save and exit okay so right here we have collected two forms here okay okay so <coughs> the form has just been collected and is saved in the mobile data right so how to send through the server okay so for that just click on send sorry send finalized form okay so if you just need to edit anything just go on this and you can just edit the form here okay and to send the form just click on send finalized form here okay okay let me just click on this both the forms here okay then just click on send selected 
send selected okay the form is being sending now okay upload to this tutorial successful the form was successfully upload, uploaded click on okay so nothing was available okay so now you can just see here two forms was already sent okay so to view that just click on view send forms just click here okay these two forms are already selected here okay we can just see here okay form number two respondent's name gender age marital status right okay so this is the process through which you can just collect through using android devices right just like mobile and tablets okay so you can just collect the form from any place okay and this is very very simpler method to collect the data in the field right no need to carry pen pencils and other forms and questionnaires observation checklist bags right okay you can just carry just your android device and everything can be done through your device even the location you are collecting the data okay okay so after this just let me show you on the how to and just get the data or you know viewing and downloading the data okay so this is the step of configuring data entry and uploading okay so now after sending uh, you can just see here there are one submissions right uh, let me just click on refresh then the remaining submissions uh, will be shown here right now you can just see here three submissions okay so three submissions uh the one was at the starting and two we just recently submitted after collecting the data okay so to deploy or to download that data just click on data as shown here okay then you can just see various things here like table reports gallery downloads maps okay and you can just see the collected data here right uh, for now there are just three results okay then you can just click on reports to just uh, view the reports right and uh, the details the frequencies uh, and the graphs too okay just here you can just here mean median standard deviation okay respondents name okay and you can also see the percentage and the similarly the graph male and female and similarly the value frequency and percentage to that okay and similarly for the age and you can just click on gallery uh, for now there are no any such gallery or the images that we use in this uh, questions right so it's in here and just click on download to download the data okay and before downloading remember one thing that just click on export first okay click on export okay then after clicking you can just see the option the download okay to download just click on download okay it will be downloaded now let me just open the folder okay then just after that open the folder or oh sorry open the file which is was saved in the excel format okay just double click on that and just open just wait for a few minutes few seconds okay then the file will be open like this okay okay you can just click on enable editing and start okay so then after that you can just see all the data here okay that we collected okay so you can just start analyzing the data okay from the excel sheet or you can just open or to SPSS to further analyze the data okay so how can we export uh, this file to SPSS uh, let me just show you that okay so for that just open uh, SPSS okay 
so now uh, after opening the spaces okay you can just click on file menu then just click on import data right then just click on Excel because the file that we need to export is sorry import is Excel right okay so just click on Excel okay then just choose the location file so where the file or the Excel file is saved okay just select the location okay then just click on open after selecting the file then it will import itself okay you can just make the few changes as you want and just click on OK okay so this is the way to import the data okay from Excel to SPSS and analyze further as you want okay so if the video was really advantageous and uh, was really helpful for you all just like the video and subscribe my channel for more uh, videos like this in coming days till then everyone uh, take care thank you very much